Hello, I'm Paul Barnard, Managing Director of Ecotide. We're an environmental and bushfire consultancy firm. At Ecotide we receive many questions about bushfire assessments, so we've made this video to explain the bushfire management overlay, known as the BMO, and what it means for building construction in Victoria. It includes information on planning and building in bushfire threat areas to get you started. So at the end of this video, for further information, you can go to our website, echotide.com.au, which also includes a frequently asked questions section. The BMO came out of recommendations from the Victorian Bushfires Royal Commission in 2009. The BMO is a map that divides land in Victoria into three bushfire threat categories and is now part of the Victorian planning provisions. In a low bushfire threat area, there are no specific bushfire protection measures required. Buildings in the next category of medium threat bushfire prone area require protection from ember attack. This is covered by a bushfire attack level rating known as a BAL. Properties in the very high bushfire threat category are covered by the bushfire management overlay or BMO and require protection from ember attack, radiant heat and direct flame contact. To find out which bushfire risk category applies to your property, you can access a free property report at land.vic.gov.au. If you need further direction on how to do this, go to our frequently asked questions section at the Echo Tide website. The bushfire attack level, or BAL, indicates the construction requirements for building within a medium threat bushfire prone area. There are a range of bushfire attack levels that increase with the severity of the impact of a bushfire. The BAL is there to protect against ember attack and radiant heat from an approaching bushfire. The rating is derived from the type and proximity of vegetation and the slopes around the building. A BAL of 12.5 is typical of a building in open grassland with little overstory vegetation nearby. The other end of the range is flame zone where vegetation is quite close to the building. Although the financial impacts of different bell ratings require more research, indicative cost implications for a conventional house range from an additional $3,000 for a bell 12.5 to up to $50,000 for a bell 40. If your property is within the highest bushfire threat category, which is a BMO area, you will require a bushfire management statement or a BMS. A BMS is a relatively complex report and it is a mandatory requirement to meet the Victorian planning provisions. These reports are sent to referral authorities, such as the CFA, for approval in the planning process. The report contains site and landscape descriptions, a bell rating, calculations of defendable space, vegetation management prescriptions, and recommendations on water supplies and access requirements. So we hope this video has been informative. Echo Tide delivers the full range of products in bushfire assessments, so why not contact us for an obligation-free quote, or check out our website for more detail.